Hello again, everybody. Just um, a little, another little short update. Uh, one, one more night and one more little tiny part made. This is the other adapter I needed to make for the, this is a, a very beautiful loco parts angle globe valve, obviously, and the bottom part here is threaded 1 inch pipe, or also known as 5 inch 27, and I needed to make an adapter just like the other one I made last night. Uh, as you can see, this long mail end that has the little uh, magic marker line on it, that is the 1 inch pipe. It's got an eighth inch hole drilled right through it. Then I made a little shoulder for clearance for the nut, and then this part is threaded 5 inch 40. It's a model engineer thread, and I cut the 60 degree cone in there in the center with a, um, a large countersink. But this is, I'm standing here at the lathe. I just finished making this part tonight. There you can see the tailstock die holder with the little uh, 5 16 inch 40 uh, die in it. And there's the 5C collet chuck. I don't know if I can describe this. I'm trying to be helpful. Obviously, I'm doing this single handed, so I can't really do a lot of action shots. But I start out with 5 16 inch rods sticking out, let's say, on this end, a little bit longer than this, of course. And what I typically would do. I'll cut a little taper in the lathe just so that the the, um, the pipe threading die doesn't have to do quite as much work. So I'll cut a little like one degree taper and then I use the, the die holder. I use the 1 16 inch pipe um, or 5 16 27 as it's also known to put this thread on. Then I center drilled and drilled the hole in the center. I did it about an inch long in the bar stock. And then before I removed it, I went ahead and cut this shoulder here. And then I knew how far to go from the edge of the shoulder where my thumbnail is out to, to finally cut it off. And once it's cut off, then I could remove the, the stock rod that was in there, turn this around. And what I did was put it in down to the little sh the edge of the shoulder. And I used a reamer, a little eighth inch reamer here, held in a the tailstock drill chuck to uh, just as an alignment tool. I had that inserted and in place while I tightened this up and then I was able to, then I knew the eighth inch hole was was clear and reamed. The shoulder was already cut. All I had to do then was file the burr off this edge here that the cutoff tool made and use the, um, the large countersink to cut the cone for the union and then use the tailstock die holder to cut the 5 16 inch 40 thread on the outside there. So one more part made and I hope that explanation is interesting and helpful. And I honestly don't know if I can thread this thing in one handed while I hold the cell phone on the other. <laughs> but you get the idea. This part will go in there and then it'll be a, an adapter for the 3 16 inch copper tube that I'll, I'll be making um, next. So. Next, I need to make some the male fittings that go here where my thumb is, and the nuts that hold it on over the over the tubing. So I'll be making those and silver soldering a bunch of stuff up when I get a chance, and I will keep you posted. Thanks for watching. I hope this is useful to you.